Hey everyone, I have finally, finally finished my quiet book for my little one. This has taken me so long, I was worried that he would have outgrown it by the time I finished it, but here we go, it's all done. So I've got a metallic press stud holding everything together there on the front. I've used reverse applique for the parakeet and then applique for these leaves. There's, they can kind of lift up. There's no real activity there on the front, just decoration. And here are my pages. Now this first one, I'm pretty sure I did a video of this before while I was actually making it. It's one of the only ones that I got a chance to videotape a little bit while I'm making it. But the flower pot is a pocket, so we can stick the leaves in there, the petals in there rather. And then you can stick them on to make a flower. My little one has actually been using these pages before I'd put it together into a book because it was just taking me so long to get the book together. But So he's already familiar with this one and he tends to like all of those that have Velcro that he can pull stuff off. This one is just counting beads. So we've got the rainbow on the clouds and my raindrops go up by one, two, three, four, five, all the way to ten. This is the only one that I'm a little bit worried about that he might grab stuff and pull them off, but hopefully he won't. Just have to keep an eye on him with that, and if he does, grab hold of those beads really quickly. All right, so this page, you have the page on the right-hand side where you can lay out all of the shapes, and then you can take them from there and connect them to the right shapes. So that one is about understanding shapes. And he loves these. He loves everything that he can pull with the Velcro. This one is another counting one. This time there are buttons and these are sewn on really well. I doubt he'll be able to get those off. So there's one, two, three. You can count the buttons and obviously they've got smaller and smaller as I've got to nine. Great way to use up all of those old buttons that you've got sitting around. Now this one is not about shapes, but is actually about colours. So the idea is that he has to match the colors so blue to blue red to red yellow to yellow regardless of whatever the shape is so there's a little piece of elastic that you can pull and loop around the correct color some of them are a little bit loose i think i need to just tie a knot in them and tighten them up tighten it up this is another puzzle page another one that he likes to pull up there's no correct order to this puzzle you can pull the pieces off and you can pretty much put them wherever you want so long as you get the puzzle back together in the end. So I'm going to end up with two odd shapes here. Obviously that doesn't work. But as long as you fill in all the spaces at the end. So you'll have to think about that one. This one doesn't take much thought. It's just a page to play with about travel. So I've got my plane moving through the sky. My boat moving across the water. I've created a little loop on the back of these applique pieces so the string can run through. And my car running along, zooming along the road. Then I've got fasteners, another great way to use up all of those bits and bobs that you've got lying around. Buttons and hooks and fasteners, you can learn how to pull those apart and open them back. And then the last one actually spells out his name when he's learned to spell his name. So they're all the fruits on the trees, the letters, and he can take these off and arrange them to spell his name so there you go i had tons of ideas there's lots and lots of great ideas out there for quiet book pages time didn't allow me to make any more maybe one day i'll make some of the others and do another book but the hardest thing about this was actually the binding process of putting the pages together there are some instructions out there on the net but i found them very technical and it basically came down to measuring up my book and realizing how much space I needed to have in between each uh, each page here. And of, of course, the other people's blogs and videos did help. But at the end of the day, you've got to measure your work and see what works for you. So there you go. It's finally finished. So excited. I know that he will enjoy it because he's already been playing with some of these pages. I hope you have a go at doing something like this and give me some feedback. Tell me what you think. There you go. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and have a go yourself. Bye.